is stopping by to give their favorite hairstylist, Mr. Nervous, a gift. Oh, I wish this day would never come. You have no idea, Mr. Quiet, the pressure of getting so many gifts just because I cut and style people's hair. Well, I want gifts. Hey there, got your gift, Mr. Nervous. It's my way of saying thank you for all you do for my do. Hairdo, that is. Thank you, Miss Helpful. Well, aren't you gonna open it? Oh, maybe later. I have to give Mr. Quiet a shave. Okie dokie. It's a pot holder I knit myself. They come in handy taking hot pots out of the oven. <laughs> Just trying to be helpful. Bye. <laughs> hot pots? The very idea makes me break into a cold sweat. <laughs> Here, thank you for my stylish haircut. No need for a gift, Mr. Stubborn. It's my job. I know what your job is. Now, open it. I'll open it later, when I can wear heavy gloves to guard against paper cuts. It's something you don't have. A comb and a brush. Thank you. Bye. Mm. Sorry about that. Where was I? Oh, yes. Your trim. Uh, just a little off the top. <laughs> I love hairstylist day. A gift is completely unnecessary, Miss Scary. I hardly do anything to your hair. It styles itself. I know, but I saw this and I had to get it for you. Uh-oh. Did your present just growl? <laughs> Not another step closer with that hideous, horrible present. But it's just a box of harmless little sponge monsters. See? Aren't they great? <gasps> Not one more step or I spray. Oh, you don't want to get these things wet. You think they're scary now? Yeah, I listen to her. Uh-oh! <laughs> what have you done? It's what you've done! Add water to these things, and they turn into giant sponge monsters! No, 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 no! I'll never open a present again! I love it! Who knew sponges could be so scary? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Is it okay to come down now? Ah, some friends getting together to enjoy a nice sunny day at the beach. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, hey, Mr. Nervous, over here. Glad you could join us. Wow, looks like you have everything but the kitchen sink in that bag. Not that you could really have a kitchen sink at the beach, though it might come in handy if you got sand in your flip-flops. What do you have in there? Oh, just a few small items. You could never be too prepared at the beach. Isn't that right, Mr. Rude? I am here to get some sun, not chit-chat. Oh, me too, but not too much. You don't want to get a sunburn, which is why it's important to protect yourself from the sun's rays. It's also important to protect yourself from an angry kangaroo, though I doubt we'll see any kangaroos here at the beach. <laughs> you want some sunscreen, Mr. Nervous? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Chatterbox. I've already put on sunscreen. I hope five layers is enough. What about you, Mr. Rude? You want to make sure to properly block out the sun. Will this block out your annoying chatter? I'm glad I thought to bring this beach umbrella. Oh dear, the sun is much too bright. I'm going to need more than an umbrella. You're building a beach hut. Can I come in? You can, but it's not finished yet. <laughs> Don't you just love a beach hut? Wouldn't it be fun to sit inside? Maybe have some fruit smoothies? Juggle coconuts? How boring. I just want to get some sun. Oh, it is so tropical. Makes me want to put on a grass skirt and do a hula dance. Did someone say hula? Good thing I have my ukulele. Dum, 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 dum. I can finally enjoy some time in the sun. <laughs> Mr. Nervous, now I am in the shade. What's that, Mr. Rude? Uh, gentlemen, we might want to move. This is my beach space. I am not moving. I really think we should move before... No! Mustn't be exposed to harsh rays of terror! Mr. Nervous doesn't really like the beach. <laughs> I don't know what he does like, actually. You know, one time I think he told me that he liked something... <laughs>